Hey guys, today we're going to learn about callback functions and we're going to give an example in JavaScript. So first of all, what is a callback function? A callback function is a function that is to be executed after another function has finished executing, hence the name callback. So to explain this, we're going to write a function called do homework. It's going to take one argument, which is the subject, and then we're going to print out doing my subject homework. And as you know, your homework takes some time. So we're going to say set timeout. And this itself, the set timeout function, takes a callback function. We put that here. If you've ever used this before, you've actually used the callback function. So set timeout takes an amount of time in milliseconds. So we're going to say your homework's going to take two seconds, 2000 milliseconds. So inside the set timeout, then we can say console.log finished my homework. Nice, cool. So now if we call this, and we pass in math. We can see that doing my math homework is first of all printed, and after two seconds, finished my math homework is printed. So this is nice, and we've used the callback function inside this set timeout here, which is saying after two seconds has passed, call this function. But let's make this a bit more complicated. So after we're finished doing our homework, we want to play outside. So we're going to make another function called play outside. It doesn't take any arguments. It's just going to print out playing outside now. So after our homework's done, we're going to play outside. So we're going to call play outside after the homework. Let's see what happens. So if we run this, do my math homework, Play on outside now. Finished my math homework. This isn't right. We wanted play outside to be called after do homework. But this isn't happening. Because whenever do homework is called, first of all, we're printing this out. Then we're defining a timeout. So we're saying after two seconds, come back and do this. But in the meantime, play outside is being called. And then after the two seconds has passed, it's coming back and printing this out. This is just the way the event loop works in JavaScript. So how can we make this perform the way we want it to? Well, the way we can do it is in the do homework function, we're going to pass in a function. We're just going to call it callback here. And then after this has been printed, we're going to call that callback function. Like this. And then whenever we're calling do homework, we're going to pass in the play out side function, like that. Cool, and then we can delete this. So this is gonna do exactly what we want it to. It's gonna call do homework. This is gonna be printed out. After two seconds, it's gonna come back, print out, finish my homework, and then we're gonna call the callback, which we are passing in as play outside. So let's see if this works the way we want it to. Do my math homework. Two seconds has passed. We're finished our math homework. So we can play outside. So this is the way callback functions work in JavaScript. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. And I'll see you next time.